Hello. This is kind of an extra for the, uh, what is it, the 7 Hertz Legato. This big chunky thing here. Now, I already did like a 50 minute long video rambling on about it, compared it to a few other IMs. Basically said that you kinda gotta want ridiculous, but there's quality in the ridiculous. It's just not something I could see being a person's main IEM. Well, for the past hour, hour and a half, I've been listening, listening to these. I've been really trying to, I don't know, I've, listening back to the video I did, I, I kind of feel like maybe I oversold them and undersold them at the same time and I kind of wanted to see if there was if I really did look hard enough to find any way to improve the experience I was having and I already went through the uh, swapping tips and all that stuff and I thought I found something, something that worked for me these see if you can see those really big fat boars they're very short and even even though they're short the stem is still even recessed so it kind of gets these as close and to in your ear as possible and I've for me especially tips like that I always found it provided the, the, the smoothest more preferable sound for me I, I tried a bunch of other ones, but another one that stood out to me were these sticky tips. Not sure if you can see those. But they have pretty wide bore, but they're like, almost like a sticky silicone. I, 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 I actually like these on a lot of stuff, but they can occasionally add too much bite and treble with some stuff. But these sounded very good with this. I actually really liked it. However, I'm back with these. I'm okay. I'm not really finding anything that changes the category of what this is. That really would make me appreciate it more. Because don't get me wrong. I, the bass here is second to, no, to none as far as what I've experienced with IEMs. My, my experience with headphones much more than IEMs, but I've listened to my fair share. And the bass and ease is just far superior to every set I've heard, both in quantity and quality. So, so there is that place for it, but some stuff muted it a little bit. Not, not necessarily muted, but kind of recessed a little more than you like little weird edges here and there a slight veil on vocals and you, you kind of lose the you know, like snares you almost lose you lose the edge to that and the sharpness of it in no way am I looking for anything painful but I would like that bass with some really nice clarity and tonality in the other frequencies I'm sitting there and I see my uh, that that truth ear box for the what was this the truth ear zero, right? They give you all these tips. There's even some foams there, but the tips I didn't like with anything. Uh, sorry about the shadow lighting sucks, but the tips I didn't like with anything are these on the right hand side here. Like, I'll take them off. The ones on the left is what I ended up using with the truth there. It's kind of with the zero. It's kind of what worked best for me. If I can get this out now. This one, this was the one on the left. You can see it's less transparent. And this one actually has a slightly smaller roar. But I kind of needed that for the zero, in my opinion. But anyway, it's it's a nice soft silicone, but it's somewhat thick. 
the stems kind of long. Both of these the stems are relatively long. Like it comes the full length of that. Whereas other stuff that I tend to like don't. Now this one's much thinner. Normally I don't like. I especially didn't like these particular ones. Because I was having a hard time getting a seal with them. For most of the stuff I tried. And it also kind of hurt the sound for me. Like it would make stuff sound too thin. Add a hint of sibling stuff like that. It, it would just give the characteristics I didn't like. But all that stuff is kind of what was needed with the legato. So I tried. I used the large one. Tried, and I got an okay seal. Like it, it's not as secure as any of the, either of the other two I showed you. Or most any of the other tips I have but as long as I'm not doing anything crazy these thin tips sound amazing on these like it actually gets to the point where you're getting the clarity and almost the audiophile quality from the mids up but still getting that ridiculous bass it does tone like there is a couple dB loss in the bass. It definitely tones it down for me. It makes it more realistic because it, it's it's almost absurd the way it is stock, especially with the the normal stock tips. And it's still like these two might even tame it, soften it up a little bit compared to the stock ones. And it's still just absurd and ridiculous with those. But these, it's still pretty much absurd, but it's super tight now. Like, it becomes really, really snappy, quick decay, and the impact is even more. Like, it, it's not the vibrating, sickening rumble. Not so much that, just the initial just, just hit. And it's, that part is tighter, more impactful. The rumble is more textured, but just a couple db down but however the best part about that change for me anyway is the mids are now stepped up it takes away a little bit of that nasal that like the stuffy nose sound that i spoke about in the other video it takes a little bit of that away there's still a hint it's not even bad stock but it's it's enough that you notice it but with this it tames it down a little bit so you, it's less of the nasally sound and more of just a, a voice with a little extra body to it. It's much more acceptable in my opinion. But, but it brings the vocalist closer. It's like it's no, no longer as recessed as it was. And personally, I didn't find it too recessed because it's really only recessed compared to the bass before. As opposed to being recessed with the treble, it seemed more kind of in line with the treble. Outside of some weird little peak here and there that kind of just messed with me. Other, I let my son listen to it and he kind of, like, he felt, he did say he heard just something almost sharp, I think he said, in a few spots with a couple, but nothing he didn't seem to notice it as much as I noticed it. it didn't really it wasn't something that affected him he, was, he said there, it wouldn't bother him at all he absolutely loved the bass thought these were amazing but that it brings the vocals a little bit forward, forward. so now they're not fighting with the bass as much the treble got a little bit sharper and just like the mids got brought a little mo bit more forward so it made the stage so much better like i am shocked i wish these tips fit better so i didn't have to worry about the seal breaking when i talked or chewed or something it's i i definitely got to hunt down another pair of tips with extremely thin with extremely thin silicone i well, i can't remember the brand there was like a something i seen recently Ear fit lights, I think it was. I might have to give those a shot on these. I don't have the lights. But 
it once I I don't I don't hate hyping this stuff because it's, it's like all the stuff I've done videos on so far, even though they had issues, I absolutely loved them all. And I was kind of iffy, like I could have fun with this. This fits me perfect perfectly because I'm a collector, and so I don't mind having gear that is only good in one use case, but not just good like great in a certain specific use case i'd rather have these special experiences than a bunch of mediocrity like okay give me the one amazing song over 10 yeah okay that's fine i can listen to it no problem give me i want that amazing experience i'll switch buds if i want to get another amazing experience with a different song if I got to I, I like the choices and it's nice to hear a song in different ways so I, I appreciate these types of tunings where they're taking chances be it a treble hot set or a just ridiculous bass set or the mid-centric set something like the the OH2 I love that set too it's I think that that was kind of skipped on and when I got it for 30 bucks man that that was a buy i still have the urge to listen to that over stuff all, quite often more often than i thought i would but back to back to these tips like it really does i mean the detail was already there before but now with everything just that little bit crisper it's it, it is a much better experience. It's, again, I'm not going to hike these and say, oh, you must buy another best thing at $109 or not. Even like this, the details there, like they're every bit in every way on par with the EA500 with these tips. Like you can now actually, you don't have to like concentrate and listen through the base to hear all the details in some of the other stuff now it's all right there for the access it's just you don't have to dig through anything to get it and i mean like i know the detail was there but it, instead of looking for it now it's just presented to me it's the experience i just had uh, over this past hour with after finding these tips changed my entire feeling about these like i really didn't think I was going to get anything special out of my, I definitely liked them, but I wasn't getting, like there's some powerful things in some vocals that some sets do wonderfully that these just couldn't do, like I would have to want a song where I just want just crazy bass and, and to enjoy the, the actual feeling, and don't get me wrong, that's fun too, but now I can have that and really appreciate the other stuff so it's not I am I may be making it sound more grand than it is but the change and it's not like this night and day massive change okay even though I'm saying it but it was enough for me to get a great experience and to finally find the love for these that I really didn't necessarily have before like a great stupid fun almost a mean type set in a way just with quality in there now the quality is much more apparent and while I don't want to oversell anybody if you do feel like you're not able to get the details or you're just missing out on some of the some of the mids and stuff and it's too much about the base try to find yourself some decent bore like eh, I guess you would consider these wide bore or nowhere near as wide as these guys here I want like I was using nowhere near that wide but again these are whatever you find something wide bore at least for me about the size like I'm sure a lot of you guys probably have the truth ear zero you want first hell if you had the truth there zero and you had the legato try those tips on it let me know what you think i would love to hear someone else's impression of what this changed for them because i do think 
like I am one of those people, like I'm not going to say stuff sounds dramatically different for people, but if everything fits, like my left ear fits completely different than my right ear. I, like I literally could use, like for a better fit, I could use, I think, what was it, smaller tips on my left ear, but I need the big one on my right. However, that using the smaller tip on my left ear, I, it, it causes me to get in deeper to make it seal, so it kind of throws off the balance of stuff because for some reason on my right ear, even if I use that smaller tip and I'm able to get deeper, it doesn't seal. This is so it, it never works, and then if I use a bigger tip, it, I can't get it in that deep to get that type of seal. It seals a little further out for me, so it could be different. So again, I would love to hear some other people's impressions if they have those tips or like those Sedna Ear Fit lights or whatever. Let me know how it changed that because just from this small sample size of one. Right, it's just me, my ears, and maybe uh, a dozen different kinds of tips. But this is the only tips I have like this. I think I have two other pair that are thin like this, but I can't get them to seal. These are the only ones where in that one, as long as I don't move, don't chew anything that I can get to seal. But game changer these net with these <laughs> the legato with these thin silicone tips the detail is right there with the ea 500 separation is incredible and i'm okay let me, let me back up a second i'm saying incredible trying to make everything sound just amazing and better than this it let me, we're talking a hundred dollars here. I don't want to make it seem like it's so much better now. I don't have much experience above maybe two, what was it, two twenty, two thirty, somewhere like that in IMs. I don't. But for all the stuff in this price range, it's kind of smashes most of it as far as detail outside of things like the EA five hundred and. I don't know. I love that set. It's, it gets, it, like this, you can appreciate the music and the details in the music much more with these. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. This is, this was supposed to be 15 minutes. already approaching 20, so I'm going to end it now. This is just a little extra. Always, always look in the tips. Like, they can make a world of difference, and sometimes... I don't think it's stressed enough, especially with people who try to describe the sound they're getting <laughs> from IMs. Like, the difference they make can be shocking at times, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse, but they make a difference. And in this case, something like that in silicone could be what changes it for you it could do for you what it did for me and take something that was kind of a fun almost meme type headphone just was stupid bass only enjoyable for stupid bass into something that's like i would consider audiophile with stupid bass like if uh, if I had the if let's say I scored this a seven or an eight before. Let's say I scored it an eight before. Even though I don't think I would, I think I'd do a seven. It would be a full point higher with these. So it would be a nine or an eight, whichever. But do it. Please give me your opinion. Let me know what you think. If you have the, any thin silicone wide board tips to try and you had the legato. Alright, again, thank you for watching. Please give a thumbs up. Everybody have a nice day.